Hey everyone, and a quick thanks to EA Game Changers for a copy of the pack. So, I can be really abusive to my sims sometimes. I'm sure plenty of you can relate based on the graveyards I've seen on Reddit. I'm an awful owner, but I really want to make up for that one time by giving at least one student I play a decent, non-stressful life. I jumped into Discover University with four classes and zero knowledge, and it was pretty intense for the sim and myself. I've come to learn a lot of little boosts and time savers at this point. Even though I originally thought it was pretty hard to be in an organization with max classes, I have to take that back. So let's look at some things I did wrong, do them right instead, <laughs> stack some bonuses, and in a couple places see a side-by-side -side comparison of what it's like with and without them. Because I am the type of person that likes to do as little work as possible, I thought I'd chase a distinguished degree that actually uses the new research and debate skill. Because it's ridiculously powerful no matter what degree you have, but it'd be even better if R&D overlapped with my degree so that studying would keep raising it. Looking through my extremely tedious to make degree guides, history does use that skill and it also makes it possible to jump right into the judge branch of the new law career. And since I haven't covered it and I want my sim to have some comfy robes, that's perfect. To get promoted as a judge, you also need the logic skill, and that also boosts distinguished history degrees. So, I get my sim to level 3 in both research and debate and logic before I apply. See, having those with level 2 charisma makes it so that I'm 100% guaranteed to get into the distinguished history degree. Unfortunately, that's quite easy to pull off because the system is made so that even a sim who flunked high school can get into these distinguished programs by building up enough skills. So it's really far too easy for a newbie sim with no bad high school record. On scholarships, the boost to acceptance and scholarships don't get better until level 5 in a supported skill. There are none for logic or research, and the price of college is a joke in this game, so I just don't care. The amount of debt a sim gets from going without a scholarship is so puny no one will ever see the Repo Man feature unless it's on purpose. So I get one near worthless scholarship and enroll into the Distinguished History program at Brightchester. Moving in, I have one of the dorms with the stupid sims already inside, but this time it can come in handy. Keeping them around means I can show the difference between the two when it comes to homework. These two are definitely going to flunk out because I don't care to let them have autonomy. I don't even really care if they die. Anyway, let's do something nerdy. So in my first university run, I did homework in the dorm and that was a mistake. I didn't know anything about any of the bonuses that exist and didn't really plan anything. So just jumped in head first because I enjoy stress. I make it for myself. I learned this week how powerful Study Spot is. It's ridiculous. Now, I don't really want to give the dorm the Study Spot lot trait. You'd have to set it up for that beforehand and would have to cheat at this stage. It would save you a lot of loading screens. <laughs> but for this semester, I will take advantage of those that do exist, like at this here library. So my sim is benefiting from Study Spot and the research and debate skill, while the sim on the right is winging it like I was in my first attempt. We can easily see these buffs in action by comparing the two sims' homework completion times. My sim has the level 3 research and debate bonus along with the study spot. The poor sim on the right is doing things the hard way, no doubt like a lot of players. The total times for the two sims were 80 and 150 minutes. This saves a minimum of 4 hours per semester assuming you did homework every time in a study spot. And this doesn't include study progress and final stuff. That's a hell of a difference and we're not even focused which should also help. This more than makes up for the extra time to walk to a table in the library because you can get two homework sessions done at once. You just gotta plan out when you've got a chunk of time to spare, but it's less hectic this way. Another thing I was doing wrong was having way, way too many microwave meals. After six in a row, you get the unbalanced meals debuff, unless you're a glutton, and you will have issues keeping your sim happy. It won't go away until you eat normal food. So quick meals and microwave dinners are for chumps in Sims World, but so is cooking as a whole sometimes. Eating fresh fruits and vegetables doesn't add to this counter, but it doesn't reset it either. 
It's faster to eat a few of them than to prepare and eat a plate of food so you can satisfy hunger on the go this way. Head to a computer and hit up order, then buy seeds and go wild with the fruit seed packets. Now you can queue up several different kinds of fruit and get a happy buff. You can also watch out for roommates to leave out food that isn't yet spoiled. Some of it won't add to this counter. Regardless, you save a lot of time in preparing the food by doing these two things. Because of this, I have a lot more time to pick up after my nasty roommates now. So let's talk about something else. Study Spot also works with presentations, so it's worth going there when you plan to spend a few hours on that or a turn paper. It's really nice, but even better when you hit level 6 in research and debate, which gives you a boost to how quickly you can make a high quality turn paper. Check it out, since you can hang things in the library, how about a mathematical diagram I made before I enrolled? Now this place is awesome for all kinds of schoolwork. The difference just with Study Spot is dramatic. This sim isn't level 6 in R&D yet, but she's doing amazing on time already. Everything is going really smoothly for the next couple days, using the library as a base for homeworky type stuff and finals. Next I hit up the organization events and looked for the debate guild. Then asked a member right away to join. For your first set of tasks you need time at the podium and these meatheads are using it. You can actually interrupt the sims that are using it with friendly socials then immediately hijack it. I find this immensely satisfying. One of the things about these clubs is at the second rank you will get bonus to grades in all classes for a certain set of degrees. For example, Debate Guild will work for communications, history, language, psychology, and economics. Even crazier, the Foxbury only study group, the Brainiacs, actually gives you a bonus to all degrees when you hit second rank. And it's also all about studying, so this must practically guarantee straight A's. She manages to knock out a couple of the advancement requirements for the guild here. I'm pushing my sim pretty hard at times, but only because I know I can milk a lot of homework time when I'm at the library. I must, in order to justify the loading screens I endure doing this. I'd say someone without an SSD on their PC should definitely consider making the dorm a study spot if they want these boosts. Just use the bb.enable free build cheat and go crazy. You know what? I'll probably do that myself here soon. <laughs> this is pretty much the worst day of my sims term. She's outright broken, but got the homework done. And that's what matters most. Things smooth out for here from now on. But hey, because of all the work I got done yesterday, I'm able to turn in the first final thing, my presentation. Something else I wasn't thinking of because I took a long break from Sims 4 and forgot basic stuff. If you have a bit of time between class, either socialize with Sims who are right there or use the phone to browse the web or play a game. That way you regenerate some of the fun you lost taking notes or doing a horrible presentation. If the next class is only an hour away, Sims makes it pointless to walk anywhere. This lets you get by with using the take notes work tone without totally tanking your fun. The Secret Society can be pretty fantastic, but you really need to have access to rare metals and crystals to take advantage. But while enrolled in university, going out collecting is not going to be very efficient here. In this case, I'm giving it a shot by going back to the parents' house to bake because, well, I can with that sim. Aiden from my last video is here, but in his version of this world, he's all alone. I'd seen that the Secret Society accept excellent baked goods but hadn't tested it yet so i bake an excellent cake after studying cooking a bit and refueling up mom and dad's looking at this thing i kind of wonder if i might be able to split this up and not give those greedy sprites all of it at once can i make an offering with a piece of half-eaten cake i head to the statue and make the offering to find out and it, and it actually works this means I can store the rest of the cake in the mini fridge and use it for 6 or 8 buffs from the make offering thing and my sim almost never needs to see her parents. Now that I've done this, I don't have to join the secret society. And in fact, if you don't want to participate, the sprites can be pretty annoying. But you can still get the buff without joining. I make good use of time between classes by playing games on the phone or even napping on a bench in public just to be efficient and avoid walking across campus. I don't think these activities are very efficient, but they're going to win when you factor in a 30 minute walk. That evening she works on the term paper in this super focusing library, but doesn't quite get it done yet. 
The not-so-secret Order of Enchantment shows up the following night, but I realize the door's locked to, to everyone, so I wake my sim and watch the leader seeming a bit confused. She eventually offers me to join. Like I said, if you don't want to participate in this heavily, the sprites can be really annoying. But I'm going to do it, because I know less than some of you about how it all works. This turns out to be a bad decision in terms of providing my sim a less stressful life. The debate guild showdown is the next day, so I use my performance enhancing substances, you know, cake, to give my sim a little edge in the competition. It works and she destroys the normie that tried to debate cooking versus eating produce with her. This buff gives like a 40% gain to career performance when you're in class. It's really powerful. I submit my term paper and am now at a stage where I only need to study for the last two classes and stay on top of homework. I find the class list so cumbersome. It's just annoying to try to remember I have a final in cultural milestones and need to finish homework in the politics of leadership. I'm constantly looking at this list and just, let's say looking at it, it isn't, it isn't an experience that grows on you. My friend actually wrote down the classes and times in a way that combined them, kind of like the calendar could have. Here's the thing with all these boosts. It's probably overkill. I know it's possible to get A's without ever studying, but it probably makes it more likely that you'll get one. I'm studying while focused in a place that gives me like plus 60% progress toward education stuff. The thing is, since I can't really tell how I'm doing in a meaningful way, I'm probably overshooting A plus by a wide margin. I guess the best we can do is learn if these messages from professors mean you have an A, you know, stop working on this class. Now for the sprites. They'll kind of show up at random. If you're in bed, they wake you. They expect you to entertain them by using certain types of socials and maybe other activities. If you don't, they torture you with stress. And this is for hours on end. You can't get rid of them. They come back. But if you play nicely, they'll give you a good buff. It means you're their little bitch and have to do what they say when they say. I mean, my sim is already putting up with crap like this. I mean, what an absolute pig of a man. And I can't do anything other than come up behind him and clean up his messes or hope that some neurotic cleaning type also lives here and is equally on top of things to be the yin to his disgusting yang. I know for sure we have a baker in our midst. Yeah, that's for sure. The next day or so, I've lost track. I'm out tending the sprites garden and a notification pops up and my heart stops. All Fs. How could this be? Oh, yeah, those two. So they didn't do well. <laughs> but I guess that's to be expected given they have been skipping homework and, and didn't do their finals. At least I see what academic probation looks like. But they didn't move out, they just live here forever. My own sim's grades come in the next day when she's cleaning up after Pigman and the other goons. It's all A's, but I feel it's extremely likely, as I said, that I'd been an A for at least a couple days and just didn't know it. I didn't make advancement in the two groups I joined because I was so set on A's. But I'm confident I could at least pick up one or two promotions if I were to pursue another semester. I have to say that doing this a second time more smoothly, it's got me realizing how simplistic some of the systems here are. The grades thing kind of bums me out, as I said before. It just kind of throws this wrench into your time management. I'll try to look into what the professors say and find out if, it's, if that's a solid A, meaning you could stop studying at that point. And I'll put that in a guide somewhere. I know it's just gradually filling a performance meter I can't see for each class. And the many class names are distinct but not possible to memorize. I remember like the first word and then try to keep track of what one I need to do homework in. Which needs me to study for a final exam. All in all, I did have fun tonight. It's just that like many things these days, Discover University does have its problems. But it kept me engaged the whole time. I'm just not sure how much of that was busy work because of the grades thing. I appreciate my patrons for supporting me. I have several long-term supporters and they've been a blessing. Thanks for watching you all. 
I'm nearly finished with Discover University coverage, but this video proves there's a few more things I need to iron out about how stuff works. Have a great weekend.